all the attention these days is going to one thing, Donald Trump. <laughs> and Jordan Klepper, he went to find out why. You've heard the news, Donald Trump is on fire. Donald Trump, fresh off a landslide victory in New Hampshire. His success has baffled the mainstream media, but it turns out the secret to Trump has been right under their noses the whole time. This is a circus unlike to anything that we have seen in modern American politics. This is the greatest show on earth. He's the greatest show on earth. Now, if you want to understand the circus that is Donald Trump, don't ask these idiots. Ask the guy with a sword down his throat. Circus performer Adam Realman. People like the danger element of a circus and a sideshow. You know, when the lion tamer sticks his head in the lion's mouth, tell me, you want to see the lion just chomp his head off. Yeah. The audience, I think, always wants to know that this stuff is real, and it is real. We're watching a loaded gun on stage, and it could go off at any moment and say, Mexicans are rapists. Boom. It could say anything. So there's a dangerous... Mexicans element. are rapists. <laughs> Okay, so maybe he hasn't been to many Trump events, but Real Man taught me that the greatest show must have a ringleader who can work a crowd. You gotta give him the pitch. You have to impress them. You gotta impress your crowd, exactly. Your exactly. poll numbers, it, super high. Correct. I'm leading every poll nationwide. You're the best. That's it. You best know? businessman you've ever seen. Yes. I make great deals. Look at this show. This is the greatest show on earth, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to... Hey, let's bring out the snake charmer. We bring out the snake charmer. Do you bring Palin out? Okay. You betcha. It has to be something that an audience will want to see. Everybody had a good old time. You bought a hat. Hell, I want to see this freak again. Exactly. This guy got it. Trump really is the greatest show on earth. Right, Adam? Well, you know, by calling him the greatest show on earth, you're kind of insulting a lot of the circus world. Okay. Regardless, I had to see Trump up close. So I headed to one of his rallies and got to hear from some die-hard Trumpeters. I think he's the only candidate on the Republican side who's actually going to build a wall. And who's going to make him pay for it? He's going to make China. And you know what? People say, oh, you can't make China pay for it. You know what? That's a bunch of horse crap. It's pretty easy to make China pay for it. China will be paying for the wall. Should Mexico pay for the wall? Oh, my Mexico, sorry. Either way. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. One of those one countries of, is paying for that wall. One of those countries is paying for that wall. Donald Trump is inaugurated. He becomes president of the United States. What's behind that curtain? Take one of my cards. Defeation of ISIS. Defeation of ISIS? Yes. What should we do to ISIS? Bomb the out of them. Where officially should we bomb ISIS? Probably, like, Israel area, but not, like, not necessarily there, but around the area. I think he's going to help with the ISIS. What's he going to do with the ISIS? He can't tell us right now. All if right. he tells everybody, then the next thing you know, somebody else is going to copy what he says. They knew their Trump. Once I was under the big top, we were all grooving to Trump's power playlist, which included Tiny Dancer like eight times. Finally, there he was, and he wasted no time shining the spotlight on the main event himself. It takes guts to run for president, believe me. You've been number one in the polls every single week. I've been on the cover of Time Magazine so much lately. When I was on last week, I didn't even know they were putting him in the cover. Can you imagine? That's when you're really hitting it big. He made the audience recoil at the freak show. Look at back there. Look at the press. Turn around and look at these people. Look at them. Six. <laughs> they start booing. He whipped the crowd into a frenzy with a high wire act of political incorrectness. She said he's a pussy. That's not. And then something strange happened. We're going to do something that's going to be whether you like Dwight Eisenhower, no matter what you do, Dwight Eisenhower, I like Ike. Everybody said that. He started to meander. I just asked for tickets. I wanted tickets for the debate. No post office in Washington, D.C., right? People got bored. It's an incredible building. But then, like any great showman, he pulled them back in with his greatest routine, a feat of xenophobic strength. Who the hell is going to pay for the wall? Yeah. What? Ha yeah. <laughs> ha, classic bit. Trump had delivered. I laughed, I cried, I reinvigorated my irrational fear of foreigners. Mexico. I even jockeyed for selfies with a couple of reality TV stars. Donald, great joke! Great joke! Rebecca, smile! 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 Yeah. Got it! A memory that will last for possibly four years. God help us all.